on you. This right here is my pretty boy swag. Hi, uh, John's LA. Super Bowl edition. One week later. Let's talk about the weather. Let's talk about the weather, which has been gorgeous here in downtown LA. Yes. You pulled me away from hours of yard work in the sun. Oh, you poor thing. I know. It was 80 degrees in beautiful Glendora, California. I had California. my shirt off, getting some sun on my belly. Oh, poor people. Poor neighbors. Yeah, I was in the backyard. Super Bowl edition. Woo! Even, even though it, Go feel, Pats! it feels like a year ago. You to, I'm at the point in my life where a week feels like a year and a year feels like a week. Everything's flipped what? upside down. It just feels like the Super Bowl was forever ago. That. I need to ponder it that. It feels like the Super Bowl was forever ago. Yeah. Oh. A lot has happened since then. Oh. Oh, a lot you has know, happened Bruce since Jenner. Then. Bruce Jenner. <laughs> First Super Bowl. Who's going to be on the show tonight? Patriots. Patriots win the Super Bowl. And one of the great Super Bowls ever. And ESPN the next day, Johnny Manziel goes to rehab. Yep. Backup quarterback goes to rehab. That's what ESPN, you know, yeah. they, they constantly force that negative shit down your throat. Yep. Fuck them. Can't do it. Patriots. Super Bowl champions again. Thank again. God. Because I, I just... Developed a, an unhealthy disdain for the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. Too much. Too much. Okay. Yep. Uh, Marshawn Lynch jumping in the end zone, grabbing his balls. Yeah. It's uncool. The guy. He's an OG from Oakland, man. That's how they roll from up there. Grabbing the balls on national yeah. TV. Oh, yeah. Doug Baldwin, Stanford graduate of crying out loud. I don't know if he graduated, but he went to Stanford. Shitting the ball out. They didn't yeah. show that. You saw it no, on the internet, though. Was, he was going to pull his pants down. No, he, well, he faked that he's pulling no, his pants right down. right when they cut away. He was faking yeah, he was pulling exactly. his pants so down. Yeah, I knew something was up. How selfish do you have to be to knowingly take a 15-yard personal foul penalty yeah. in the Super Bowl so you can be cute and pretend like you shit the ball out? Yeah. This isn't any Idiot. given Sunday. This is not the movies, kid. And again, we're talking about football players. You're not the brightest people going. No. <laughs> but even though he went to Stanford. They're not is, like us, Dave. Highly intellectual. Richard Sherman, Stanford guy. Yeah. Pulling that shit in the sideline, classless. 2-4, putting up that Darrell Rivas gave up a touchdown. Yeah. You have nothing better to do in the middle of the Super Bowl other yeah. than to, to troll well, how about the, the opposing the team's stuff corner? leading up to the Super Bowl with Sherman and I might not make the Super Bowl because of I want to be there when my baby is born. I mean, what kind of bullshit drama is that? He created you know, that I know. just so he can be the center of attention because he's a little whiny, little... It's, little, it's the day and age we live in, man. It's a day and age. Yeah. Wait, he ain't Hashtags. little, first of all. It's a, day, it's a day and age we live in. It's so, like, yeah, in your face, Sherman. <laughs> it's it's like, look at my old man in his job back in the, you know, 70s. 1870s. <laughs> back in the 70s. <laughs> my old man... You, didn't want to leave work to go to the... And he just worked at a, you know, pedestrian accountant job. It's like, dude, you couldn't really miss the Super Bowl for the... I know, I don't have any children, so you can't say, but things have changed, you know. Back then, they wouldn't even let the dad in the... You know, they would sit out in the in the lobby and march back and forth and hand out cigars. Okay, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? Well, about Sherman. <laughs> no, Sherman. Okay. We missed the Super Bowl because of oh, that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you really, I mean, do you really think you should miss the Super Bowl? I don't think no. so. Sorry, no. you know, the kid's not going to remember the birth. Yeah. You know, you're just there to, to, to be a cheerleader, yeah. and you're oh, you don't know, you don't, eh, whatever. Yeah. He shouldn't, but he's trolling two, four, two, yeah. four. Come on, man. And Pete Carroll with uh, his 9-11 conspiracy theories. Yeah. Pete, Pete Carroll. It was his, the worst result of a call. Pete Carroll in his relentless optimism. Relentless optimism is always trumped by perpetual stupidity. Yeah. And they, that was dumb. And it's not dumb in the fact, you know, I've been sitting on this for a week now. And Let it out, Dave. Look, I'm going to. That's out. why we do it, damn it. Let it it's out. It's still real to me, CJ. <laughs> okay, look it. I understand. Hand the ball to Marshawn Lynch. Yeah. I, yeah. Not, which I think would be a better call. But yeah. I don't mind the pass. But what you, you, you're going against <laughs> everybody in America? No, no, no. Hit me out. Here's the problem. They they run a formation where they stack the receivers. Okay. Yes. And what people aren't talking about is Brandon Browner played like two years for the Seahawks. He was the corner on that. And in that formation, you're limited. That is a very that's a very common play for that type of formation. 
And a guy like Brandon Brown, and the Seahawks had shown that exact play yeah. early in the season. You don't, you know, they watch every fucking play. Yeah, Browner studied his film. Of course he did. And, and Malcolm Butler, Butler as well. Yeah. And you're trying to run a pick route, which is illegal, with a a huge corner. Brandon Brown is 6'3", 2 something. You try to run a pick route, and a, and a guy who knows what's coming because he's seen that with that team before, he jams up that number one receiver. And as soon as that happens, Malcolm Butler just drives on that slant. Yeah. And he picks it. I mean, it's terrible. He, look, I don't mind the pass. Get Russell Wilson out on the edge. That dude's tough to tackle. Yeah. Let him have a pass run option. Yeah. But for a guy who's 5'11", maybe, R R Russell Wilson before the game's like, oh, maybe 5'11", yeah. trying to jam yeah. a slant into a receiver who's caught three touchdown passes in his career. Ricardo Lockett, three touchdown passes in his career, had been cut four times. You're going to put everything on trying to force feed that guy like a freaking goose? Trying to force feed the ball onto him? With all those hands up in that little area, they're defending the line. You know what I mean? They're defending the goal line. They're, they're, they're saying, fuck it. We're just going to gamble and we're going to jump that goal line. Right? I mean, that is the problem. It's not necessarily not giving him Marshawn Lynch, although I think they should have. But that, that's a simple answer. It's, it's trying to force feed that route into a huge corner. And when they know formationally, that's what they like to do. Stupid. Ridiculous. And if you go back and watch the NFL uh, network uh, mic'd up, Pete Carroll didn't even know what play was called. Yeah. That's the thing. NFL coaching is terrible. And because put in a spotlight in that microcosm of just seeing that one play, People don't realize that shit happens all the time. The pick that Brady threw earlier in the first drive, yeah. what were those fucking routes? They were terrible. It was four wide, two out routes, and two curls, and Brady was just guy in his face, and he threw it up. The, the guy who picked it, the guy who ended up getting hurt, which helped out quite a bit, uh, Lane, he was covering nobody. Yeah. He was just floating because everyone else was covered. It was man free. It was just shit routes, but nobody says anything about that because the Patriots won. My point for anybody who's been listening to the show on, uh, for the duration of it, NFL go, coaching. Go. Thank you. NFL coaching is terrible. It's lackluster. It's bad. They yeah. do stupid things all the time, but people let them get it. You know, people are like, oh, oh, it's the highest level NFL. College yeah. coaching, high school coaching is better than NFL coaching. I don't care what anyone says. Those guys are all products of nepotism. They're all products of right place, right time, and they get the jobs and they just move along. And they're like, oh, yeah. these guys, these guys are the, the best and the brightest. And there's no meritocracy. Yeah. It's all just knowing the right person at the right time. What a terrible play. But God damn it, Tom Brady's the best quarterback of all time. No? Am I wrong? Best color man in the business, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> best color man in the business. Um, well, he's definitely better than anybody that's in the NFL now. No doubt about that. But of all time, that'd be you know, we'd have to get into statistics. Yeah, and, uh, but bring the statistics. You know, but he's Tom definitely in, in the top five. Oh, please. Yes, of all time. No, he's the best one I've yeah. ever seen. Not yeah. even close. Yeah. You know, everyone loves to say Joe Montana. Oh, he's 4-0 four, four in Super Bowls. He only got to four. Brady's been to six. You know, yeah. and he played yeah. in a day and age where it was no free agency and yeah. the same had, the same team every year that the 49ers ran out. Look at the guys that Brady's throwing to. He's throwing to a bunch of Smurfs. And as I was like log, live diarying this game. Okay, you had your diary 18, going. After 18 beers. Uh -huh. yeah, I, I was like, I'm going to be sober for this freaking. And then I just started watching the pregame with Johnny Weir. Did you watch that shit? Johnny Weir, the, the gay figure skater that's just yeah. over the top gay. Yeah. And the, freak, and the uh, supermodel he was with, I forget yeah. her name. Yeah. What kind of world are we living in? This is the pregame <laughs> for football. Because they're trying to appeal to the masses. So they yeah. want to bring, you know, gay guy and a woman, I guess, yep. in the masses. Yep. So I said, I couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> I just start shotgunning beers. Can I watch this shit by myself? Mm -hmm. I know it's kind of sad, but I had you to. You were shotgunning? You were putting to. the key in the... Uh... By myself. Yeah? No, I didn't. I didn't, but I kept pounding beers. I couldn't take it anymore. It was 1 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. one thirty. I couldn't take Costas and Collinsworth. Yep. I don't know how anybody likes Chris How many Col did you put down? 18. Yeah. Count them. They're sitting on my freaking kitchen <laughs> table. My cleaning lady has abandoned me. I don't know what happened. Yeah. <laughs> I have a cleaning lady now, so I have a... You would think she'd make some extra money off your uh, recyclables. Yeah, right. You know? I pay her 100 bucks every time she comes. 
Yeah, she hasn't been there in a while. I guess my stinking filth is just that bad. It's not <laughs> worth, Have you gotten a bed yet? It's not Are you worth a hundred bucks. Still sleeping on a blow-up mattress. Uh, no, I, I popped the blow-up ma- mattress. You know what I mean. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So I bought uh, one of those mattresses. Actually, you came. Oh, you got it from Amazon. Yeah, through Amazon, and I opened it up, and it was amazing. Just popped open. Really. Sleep on the I'm floor. Sneeze. Sleep on the floor like, a, <laughs> like some kind of Asian. <laughs> oh, bless me. Zoom tight. Uh, all right, so how was it? I don't know. I've lost my train of thought, but all I know is the Patriots won the damn Super Bowl, and I am freaking happy about it. Yep. And Deflategate is finally kind of deflated. Uh-huh. Yeah, what's up with that? Did they follow up at all? Yeah, well, th- what they're saying is uh, the one ball that was handed in originally was under, and every everything else was a tick. I don't know what a tick is. A tick under. Yeah. But well, I could talk about ad nauseum. Is that like a nodule or a module? <laughs> it's a module. Is it a module it's under a module, or a nodule? A module under. And dude, just one of those things where, okay, they'll, they'll hype it, hype it, hype it. And I read these, you know, comments on Yahoo. It's like, I've been a Patriot fan since 1960. I'm disgusted. People love to jump on that, you know, immediate public opinion immediately i'm disgusted with tom brady and bill belichick like they're gonna risk everything to freaking under under inflate balls so then they have this big controversy about bringing in the balls and tom brady still 13 of 15 two touchdowns in the fourth quarter all right enough about them what about gronk the party animal what about gronk dude's raging oh he is raging (laughs) that would be surprised he gets suspended for that fight at the end Throwing oh. haymakers. It's for some, you know, like I've talked yeah, because he got punished after that. He was he was pushed down or hit down, and he fell on his ass. Oh, class of Seattle. Yeah. They're fighting at the end. You know they oh, would. Oh, I know. Seattle is such a bunch of punks. You know they would. Yeah. The guy shit out of football, for Christ's sake, CJ. I know. He should be suspended for the first <clears throat> two games next year. To me, that's almost as bad as, well, it's worse than a marijuana offense, in my opinion, because yeah. it's premeditated. Well, yeah, Le'Veon Bell's got to do 16 months of rehab or something like that for... Getting caught with weed in his car. Yeah, and, and Blunt got, got uh, <clears throat> Blunt was with him, and Blunt got yeah. nothing out of it. Yeah. His classes as well. I'm not a big Blunt fan. The guy quit on the Steelers. Yeah. And then he holds up that bitch mode shirt. That's classless. Bitch mode. Tell me about that. Yeah, he had a t-shirt at the parade. Oh. I went to the first parade when the Patriots won their first Super Bowl in 2001, 2002. I went to that parade. It was miserable, kid. Toe to toe, locked in, 15 degree weather. <laughs> high drunken high school kids everywhere. Yeah, people literally pissing themselves because you couldn't go anywhere. It was awful. I said I would never go to another one of those. Yeah, but I'm sure if I was back in Massachusetts, and I would go to this one. What too. street was it on? Uh, well, it goes, it goes or, all over. Uh, but the main drag is Tremont. Tremont, okay. The main drag is Tremont Street. Yeah. They run the uh, duck boats down. Yeah, it's the ninth title. That a Boston sports team has won in the last 13, 13 years. It's impressive. Yeah. We earned it, damn it. Why couldn't they do it within 10, though? Why can't? <laughs> why is it going to be 13? Uh, uh, because you know, I don't, you know, I don't know. Not 12. Good point. I don't How many know. Tiles did they win in Maybe 12 it's years? 14 years. I don't know. Stop crunching the <laughs> numbers on me, kid. Huh. I mean, yeah, that's cool, whatever, but you know. Whatever what? How many freaking <laughs> L.A. titles has had? Well, there's been a well, few. you know, we're we talking about the Lakers and the Kings. We don't even have a football Lakers team. Lakers and the Kings. I know, but they yeah. broke ground today. Did you see that? Yeah. In Inglewood. You said you believe it when you saw it. They yeah. broke ground. They're All pushing right. dirt around in Inglewood. All right. Yeah, we'll see it. Speaking, <laughs> believe it when you see it. Yeah. Speaking of pu- <laughs> pushing dirt around, you got to feel bad for Edelman. And Well, if you could feel bad for a guy who just, you know, won a Super Bowl and was getting all types of... Li- Did you see that Julian Edelman thing? Uh-uh. A girl met Julian Edelman on Tinder, I guess, and they had relations that evening. Okay. And when was ne- this? The next morning, the other day. After or before Super Bowl? After. The other day, she did a selfie with herself and Edelman in her bed, and she wrote, caption, I just fucked Julian Edelman. Mm. And put that. That's why I don't have kids, man. Imagine that. Yeah. If you're the father of that girl who just put it, yeah. posted out to the world, I just fucked Julian Edelman. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Is there no standard anymore, yeah, CJ? Uh, yeah. My lord. What? Uh, so what happened? So people no, is no. she hot at least? He only caught half a face. I'm sure she's not ugly. Yeah. You know what I mean? Nowadays, these girls nowadays, yeah. CJ, they're yeah, all a little good bit of looking. Makeup. They're yeah. all good looking. Yeah. You almost feel bad for Edelman. You know what I mean? He's kind of getting ambushed. Shit, guy can't go out and have random sex whenever he wants. What kind of world do we live in? 
You know? Put out there on the internet. Poor Julian. Yeah. Poor Julian. Poor Tom. Poor Tom Brady. People still can't give him the respect that he deserves. Yeah. Well, haters. Poor, poor Warren Sapp. Uh, oh, and two. I, two hookers. And I, and I have done my best to bash on Warren Sapp just because I think he's a hypocrite. But I, you know what? I feel bad of Hey, <laughs> guy's got a healthy sex drive. What's wrong with that? Yeah. You know what I mean? So what? He goes out and gets a tough... Couple but he got into it because over the finances. I know it. You know, I know what it. What was going on there, dude? It's a victimless crime, but you would think a guy like Warren Sapp could go out and get some play if he wanted to. You know what I mean? Shit. But how do you put it all on the line like that, Warren Sapp? Because you got to know if if you get caught doing that, he got fired from his NFL gig. He got fired from his Bud Light sponsorship. Yep. Warren Sapp is done. It was. What are we listening to? It's your music. This is Warren Sapp. Warren Sapp's yeah. intro music. Hey, Listen to Warren I'm Warren Sapp. I like hookers. He could be on the WWE now. That'll be his theme music. It's the yeah, White huh. Shadow. Hey, do we have to have rights for this? The White Shadow. <laughs> well, sp- speaking of the White Shadow, I just watched uh, Tangent 1776 for the first time. Nice. With Ken Howard plays Thomas Jefferson. The coach in White Shadow plays Thomas hey, Jefferson. Hey, ladies. Plays Thomas Jefferson. Who's that? Uh, he, he's, yeah, you wouldn't know. Thomas Jefferson? Yeah. He's that uh, new rapper from Atlanta, right? <laughs> uh, oh, boy. CJ, you just throw me off. I don't even know. Just beatbox for a second. I get my thoughts. All right, all right. I got my thoughts back. We're back. Dequell Jackson. Speaking of Deflategate, the guy who picked off the ball that was the ball in question to, that mm-hmm. was underinflated. He just got arrested for assaulting a pizza guy. What? Tried to choke out a pizza guy who parked in his spot at his condo complex. Tried to choke the guy no out. Way. Yep. He's choking the guy out and... The guy who won the Super Bowl for the Patriots. No, 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 no. Like the guy for the Colts who picked off the pass oh. that was the ball that turned into deflate was the ball oh, that the, the okay. Colts was at. Oh. All right. Sorry, I ball. wasn't paying attention. This ball is underinflated. I know you're too busy beatboxing. <laughs> Okay, sorry. Best color man in the business for that. <laughs> he choked this guy out. Yeah. Fucking hey, good for this guy, this pizza guy. He's gonna make more money from this thing than he's gonna make in his whole life. Yeah. Oh, that's I a big t- tip. How much would it take for someone would you let someone to choke you out, attack you, and be like, oh, choke you out? How much would it take? Put a dollar on it. Why open my beer? Um, I would take I don't know, two hundred and fifty bucks. Really? You let somebody choke you out for 250 bucks? Yeah. You got it? <laughs> uh-huh. I do, actually. <laughs> I would take you on. Like, oh, hold on, I got the wrong spot. The Colts, of all teams, supposedly the team that ratted out the Patriots, of all teams, Dequell Jackson with his little incident, and then the other guy was named Katie. The last two arrests in the NFL, McNary, Josh McNary, last two arrests in the NFL of both Colts, not to mention the fact of... The owner of the Colts, Jimmy Ursay, with his freaking pain addiction, kill, painkiller addiction, yeah. and manslaughter on his go. They're the ones, of all, to take down the Patriots and make the Patriots seem like they're these bad guys. Where's Rosie O'Donnell when you need her? <laughs> oh, Rosie, I don't need we Rosie need you, O'Donnell. Rosie. Oh, Seattle and their 12th man, too. Supposedly, they're losing the rights to that. Oh, I what is that? The twelfth man is the fans of Seattle. Uh, they all wear yeah, twelve they jerseys. Stole that from soccer. No, well, European soccer. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought. Well, they stole. From, well, they bought it from Texas A and M. Really? Football. They they're renting it out. It only cost them five grand for a year what? to rent out. Yeah, and the twelfth man jersey is like the third most or like the fifth most sold jersey in the NFL right now. Because freaking. Oh, I hate him. I hate Paul Allen. Pete Carroll. Mm-hmm. I'm just doing it my own shit. Thank God they won that fucking game. Stop texting me. Whoever's texting your me. Flown's, your flown's flowing. My flop. flown is flowing. Pop. Uh, uh, you all right? Yeah, I'm just indigestion, man. What's wrong? Just too much. Uh, too much of everything. Chicken salad. <laughs> chicken salad? When you mix your beer and your freaking coffee. coffee that's right. It's a recipe for disaster. Lawsuit. Uh. I can feel that one. Lawsuit, Papuana. 
25 year old kid in Wisconsin killed himself. I shouldn't say kid, 25 year old man killed himself in Wisconsin. And now his mother is suing Pop Wana for five million. Yeah. Here it comes, kid. The floodgates. It's over. We are at the beginning of the end for football. Yeah. Five million dollar lawsuit. You're right. You look like you're going to pass yeah, I'm out. I'm just trying to get a good burp here because, you know, you got the. I don't know. I just need to burp. So go ahead. Okay, don't I'll just keep me. talking about yeah. Pop Warner. Yeah, I'm trying to burp. But imagine they win that, or even if they settle out of court for that. Anybody who ever gets, whoever kills himself who played Pop Warner yep. is going to sue him. It's going to sue, sue high school football. It's the beginning of yep. the end. Yeah, I could sue for some lawsuits. For what? I don't know. Look at me now. It's all because of football. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just, you know what? For the name of science, CJ, it just kill you. And then we'll just look at your head. We'll do a live autopsy on the show. And we'll, have a, we'll, have a, we'll have a doctor in here. We'll do a live autopsy. Like, yep, CJ had a lot of CTE, chronic trifletis and syphilitis, or whatever that may be. Uh, 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 where's Ingles, dude? Where is Ingles? Uh oh, yeah. You go on your get, phone, so I something's gotta, going up. I got to get the music for Ingles. Speaking of CTE, Richie Incognito signed with the Bills. Yeah. Richie and Rex. There should be a freaking sitcom about those two. This should be a reality show. That Hard Knocks has to be the Bills next year. With Richie Incognito and Rex Ryan. Talk about a recipe for disaster. Or talk about a recipe for... Oh, boy. Here we go. Oh, no, it's the ad. Ad for what? I don't know. It's coaching bad. Oh, it's a show with Ray Rice. What? Not Ray Rice. Uh, uh, Ray Lewis. Where's Ingles? Dude, there's a lot of people bustling about the city tonight. There are a lot of people bustling about the city. We'll go try Tonight's to- show sponsored by Little House on the Prairie, Bud Light, <laughs> Mark and Mindy, uh, The White Shadow, uh, CJ. Uh, You're ruining my segues. I had segues and your indigestion's ruining them. Indigestion nation. Speaking this of Rex Ryan. The show should be about my indigestion. The whole show should be yes. about your indigestion. Rex Ryan, get back on point. I bet he gets bad indigestion. I'm sure he does. <laughs> well, your gastric bypass, so I'm oh, sure he can't. Oh, think with the word gas in it, he's got to th- have some. That homie probably has eight ounces of Sprite, and he's probably in- uncomfortable. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? A half a shot of milk, oh, and he's probably oh, oh. fucking shitting himself. I actually went out with a girl for a while that had a bypass, and it was unbeknownst to me for the first few months. Yeah. But then you start realizing, it's like, People who have bypass, I don't know if you know anyone, they just like, be, like no muscle. It's just all of a sudden just like, it's weird to become initiated. They look like Skeletor. Uh, and as time goes on, uh, your stomach doesn't get the right nutrients. Uh-huh. So they like, their skin shrivels. I know oh, it's kind of, you know, it's true. That's what's happening to Rex Ryan. what happened to you? Yeah, I look shriveled. You do. Yeah, Beard is shriveled, gay. Yeah, yeah. Look shriveled. I'm shriveled. Yeah, I'm shriveled. Today was singing Sundays at my house, too. My shrivel, my cock is shriveled. Oh, come on, you asshole. The fucking tuna can cock. Yeah, let's say, they say hi to our fans. Matt's doing. <laughs> say hi to our fan. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Stude? All right. Enough. Let me get back to Rex Ryan. For Christ's Sorry. sake, you've ruined my, my indigestion. Is my subsided. train of thought. Rex Ryan had a Mark Sanchez tattoo. What? Yeah, a Mark Sanchez tattoo that he's since turned blue because now he's the coach of the Bills. He should get a big Richie Incognito tattoo. I should get a big Richie Incognito tattoo. Wait a minute, what? Rex Ryan had a Mark Sanchez tattoo that yeah. said Mark Sanchez? No, it was a, it was, it was a green, it was like a, a hot woman, supposed to be his wife, with a green Jets Mark Sanchez jersey. Now we uh, colored it in blue. So now it's a blue. The, the Bills number six jersey. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's the world coming to? I know <laughs> with the tats. Coach. I know, and they got guys like Charles Haley coming out and saying Tom Brady and the Patriots are cheaters. Charles Haley, who just got in the Hall of Fame, by the way, this That's past week. Uh... Congratulations, I guess. But Charles Haley used to walk around the locker room, masturbating, jerking off. What? Yeah. He, Charles Haley in the book Boys Will Be Boys by Jeff Perlman, reputable author. Yeah. Charles Haley went to a, a, a defensive line meeting, was mad at the coach, went to the bathroom, shit, wiped himself, came back with a toilet paper, and threw the toilet paper 
at his position coach. Not to mention, like I said, he walked around jerking yeah. off a locker room. Imagine that happened nowadays. Yeah. Dude, if he got caught, if someone when, was... When, when, when did he play? Charles Haley? Yeah. In the 80s, 90s. He played okay. for the four-time Super Bowl champion. What position? The end. Yeah. James Madison University. We're going to blow it up. Yeah. Like, guy, imagine that now, guys, walking around the locker room jerking off. Back in the 80s and 90s, where you can get away with stuff, CJ. You can't get away with good old-fashioned masturbation anymore. Masturbation. Just ask them to Anymore. I can't freaking get away with it anymore. I know. What's wrong with that? It's healthy. Locker room masturbation. Doctor, are you Googling that? Dr. Ruth, no. Dr. Ruth says masturbation <laughs> is healthy. I agree with her. <laughs> Whatever happened to Dr. Ruth? Is she still around? I believe she's still alive. Yeah? Yeah. Let's Aaron, check it out. Aaron Hernandez is still alive. You've been pretty weak on the effects on the... Uh, I have? Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm talking about, all right, I'll give you one. Hey, where are the white women at? All right. <laughs> Aaron Hernandez, his lawyer decides to make a deflate gate joke about blowing up the balls. What? Yeah, he said, he's like, oh, talking about tire pressure. He's like, in uh, Boston, people know about blowing things up, right? Huh? Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. In court, judge was pissed. Should be. Aaron Hernandez is going away. But even though, I don't know, I think he might get off on this one because there is no murder weapon. Yeah. I think he's going to get off on this one, but why are we even talking about Aaron Hernandez? How good would the Patriots be if they still had Aaron Hernandez? Pretty damn good, CJ. Mm -hmm. Pretty. I'm just listening to you, man. Damn good. Thanks. I appreciate yeah. it for once. You know, you're sitting there trying to fight off your indigestion. You know, it went away. It's old age, kid. I know. It's like, it's like, the Terminator, the new Terminator Genesis movie, even though he spelled Genesis wrong. Arnold Schwarzenegger is playing, reprising his role as the Terminator, but when do robots get gray hair? Why they yeah. freaking, they made him gray hair like, okay, he's older, but you're making a robot. You're like, what the fuck? Why are you going to make this guy gray hair? It's not real tissue. I guess that's the whole thing with the Terminator. It's real tissue, but real hair. You have an issue? I have an issue. I have more than one issue. I got allergies. What are you allergic to? Everything. Outdoors. You yeah, shouldn't be out there putting in your three hours of yard work for your rent-free yeah, house. spread it out for six. <laughs> spread it out for six? Yeah. NFL Hall of Fame. Jerome Bettis. Tim Brown, finally. Thank God. Junior Seau. Rest in peace. CTE. The aforementioned yep. Charles Haley that you never heard of for some reason. Yep. Will Shields, offensive lineman for the Kansas City Chiefs. Bill Polian, longtime GM, the Colts. Ron Wolf, longtime GM of the Packers. Before that, the, the Giants. Mick Tinglehoff. Tinglehoff. That's a great name. Yeah. Like Hasselhoff. Is he an old lineman? He wasn't old. He got a name like Tinglehoff. Yeah. He's going to be an old lineman yeah. or a linebacker. He's an, he was an old lineman. Crush people. <laughs> Tinglehoff. He's probably about 260 pounds. Yeah. Little guys back then. Yeah. MVP. No neck. MVP. Aaron Rodgers. Undeserved. Unfucking deserved. Should be the Tom Brady Award. Tom Brady should win MVP every fucking no, year. Aaron Rodgers won the Tom Brady Award. <laughs> Just refer, refer to the Tom Brady Award. They should not give out awards until everything's said and done. Until the freaking yeah. the season's over. Yeah. The season's over. Who's the best player? Like who's the more valuable, the Super Bowl MVP or the league MVP? And the conventional you wisdom know? argument to, to, to compel that, to combat that is, oh, well, that's why they give a playoff MVP and why they give a regular season MVP. Bullshit. Why? The season is the season. Yeah, it's the you know culmination I mean? of the season. Absolutely. It's yeah. night, It's 20 weeks. It's not 16. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers, you can say that all you want, but Aaron Rodgers threw some terrible passes in that, that championship game. Awful. He threw that slant route that nobody, nobody talks about that, but he threw it right at the DB. That's the thing about Brady. You know, I would love, there's got to be a stat. I know there's all types of stats about everything. You can fucking blow your head. It'll make you crazy. But there's got to be a stat out there with Tom Brady after interceptions. Because I swear, after that motherfucker throws an interception, every time he goes back on the field, yep. he goes 8 of 9, 9 of 10, 70 yards, yeah. and a touchdown. Every fucking time. Yeah, it affects him in a positive way. <laughs> yeah. He gets, he, as, uh, as Kraft said, he gets his Irish up, and he gets pissed. It's, yeah. it's funny, you know. It's just, man, I've put too much emotion into this.
It's like I'm watching uh, Tom Brady because they said he had a cold all week, and I'm watching Tom Brady's post game. I'm like, oh, Tom sounds like he's under the weather. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, Tom sounds like he's cold. He has a cold. Yeah. It's like when you know what I mean. It's like he when did. you when you fit him, he did. Yeah. Like I do now, as you can tell. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to combat it with Bud Light. I think it's working the for elixir. the elixir. I think it's working for the, the magical most elixir. Oh, like a good sprite. It's a good oh, magical yeah. sprite. elixir. Well, sprite doesn't have any. The Sprite Fairy. Sprite doesn't have any caffeine in it. Which yeah, is, I found that out after I drank one. Like, what the hell did I do that for? What, do you only drink it for caffeine? Yeah, soda. Soda pop! Oh, CJ. Let's talk college football for a minute. Let's talk about college football. Kids, spring practice has started already. Signing day. For like 10 people. Signing day is a shit show as well. Yep. Cordell Brodus, he who attacked... My team, not this past season, the one before, and he transferred out, miraculously just moved to Vegas. Like, Snoop doesn't have five or Diamond Bar. Yeah, and he moved to Vegas? Well, he, high school. Yeah, Bishop Gorman, yeah. supposedly the number one team in the country. But, yeah, he went to Diamond Bar High School last year. Uh, it's changed a lot. Dedicated a, dedicated a whole episode. He, he threw a unmitigated attack on one of our corners. Just came and cold cocked him. Yeah. It was suspended for the next week. It was a whole big brawl, but for some reason that doesn't get that gets lost in the translation. Hey, supposedly he's a good kid. He's going to UCLA. Yeah. UCLA and USC supposedly dominated the uh, the uh, recruiting this year. It's always the same teams: Alabama, Florida State, yep, Oregon, USC, Oregon, Ohio State, Tennessee, Auburn, Georgia, Texas. Many all have great facilities. LSU. Yeah. Of course, they're all, it's just big business. Really sickening, you know. It's not like these guys are really getting an education. The whole thing's a fucking joke. Are they preparing the young man for tomorrow? No. no. The college system in general is not preparing the old man. It should be technical schools. Yeah. Or she's putting all the, half the population should be freaking fixing cars and, and, and doing, you know, air conditioning, refrigeration. Yep. Instead of, you know, discussing CASA. Choose <laughs> the Canterbury Tales. What do you get out of the Canterbury Tales? And I'm an English teacher for fuck's sake. I know, right? I know. I get freaking. I get to the point where I just want to. I just sit up there and I just play DJ on the YouTube. I just like, oh, you guys have never seen this? Let me show you this one. This one's funny. And then if they, as soon as I hear a swear word, so I'm like, oh, I gotta get out of it. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show Groundhog Day next week. Last week was Groundhog Day. Yep. I was like, oh, da, 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 Groundhog Day, da, da, da. How many people have seen the movie Groundhog Day? Like one kid had put his hand up. I'm like, wow. time out. <laughs> fantastic movie. Oh, fantastic. A lot of good life lessons learned. Exactly. Would you consider that a coming of age movie or a romantic comedy? A philosophical movie. I want, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just what would, if you had the same day to live over and over again, yeah. you weren't going to get any older, yeah. what would you do? That's going to be the writing prompt. Yeah. But I have to show him this movie. Plus, it's, it's so referenced in pop culture. People always talk, you know, the, yeah. the word Groundhog Day has become synonymous with the movie as opposed to the holiday. Yeah. It's like Xerox was a word for copier. Or, or well, yeah. More like Tylenol has become a name for ibuprofen. Yeah. Is Tylenol the same type of thing? Yeah. Or Advil for ibuprofen, Tylenol for acetaminophen, to finish the ASAP. <laughs> well said, CJ. What are you trimming that red beard, Dave? Well, I know, kid. I'm telling you, I want to get rid of it, but I've, I've, it's become almost like a trademark to me. Anytime I, people are like, oh, don't shave your beard. I like it. Like, oh, fuck. More. I'm going to shave my beard when it becomes as white as yours. As soon, okay. as, we, again, as, soon as I get well, that many know, white, it's do. coming. It is gray. It's coming. Mine? You just can't see it. Yeah. It takes uh, about six it's months. Coming. It's coming. But it's pretty gray. I know. I'm, mine is? Yeah. You fucking go shit in the hat. No, freaking... you won't be able to notice for another six months, but... Oh, it's coming. <laughs> it's coming, but... School day. I don't know if I'm coming or going. You don't know if I'm coming. There is no school tomorrow. I Abraham Lincoln. at the school. It's a private institution, so we don't take the same holidays as you do. Abraham Lincoln's birthday. Yeah. On a long weekend. Deservedly so. Yep. Abe. Abe, best color man in the business. Miami Dolphins. Abe. Revolutionizing the game day experience. How and why, where? They're going to put 32 living rooms 
in the stadium on the 30 yard line. They have taken out all the seats in the 30 yard line. They've made them to wow. living room pods or wow. modules, if you will. Wow. Nodules <laughs> or modules? Modules, if you will. 32, uh, 32 living rooms is going to cost them $400 million. Okay. $400 million. That's it. To, to renovate the stadium. All right. Four seats are going to go for $75,000 a game. Wow. I know. They, they always talk about recession, that we have no money. Oh. We're all we'll fall apart. $75,000 a game. <laughs> and they get red zone. They get red zone. So it's going to be these super rich fucking Kardashian, Bruce Jenner type people. Yeah, if he's out of jail. Bruce, Bruce Jenner type people. Yeah, that but is, if he's out of jail. Yeah, huh, huh. We talked about that, no? No. Uh, I, we've I talked tried about bringing the, him up earlier in the show, but we went right into football. Well, let's talk about Bruce Jenner in the worst week in the history of fucking bad <laughs> weeks. The guy comes out, he says he wants to become a girl. He wants to uh, become a lady. Yeah. And I'm he goes out and sugar. kills somebody. Yeah. And now they're saying he was on his cell phone when he did it. Woo! Talk about yeah. a bad week. I have no... Look at The gays are one thing. I've been on the air. My He's zeros probably are, not in jail. He probably made bail. I'm sure he did. I'm Whereas sure. my friend Suge Knight is in jail for <laughs> supposedly murdering someone in this car. <laughs> Your buddy Suge Knight. Oh, but you got to get away from the microphone. What? <laughs> I got snot in my nose and I want the whole world to hear it. Yeah, the whole world. Matt, oh, you want Matt Student to hear it. <laughs> Stand it, this is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the best color man in the business, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Suge Knight yes. ran somebody over, right? Yeah, former defense alignment for the UNLV Rebels. <laughs> Running Rebels. And he played at El Camino College, I believe, in uh, Compton. Did he? Yeah. Makes That's sense. where he transferred from. Ran somebody over in Compton. Then he went to yeah. the trial. Then he had a heart attack, supposedly. Yeah. Poor Suge. That's after he got shot up last year at a Grammy party. Poor Suge. I know. Yeah. You know, yeah. Oh. Poor Shug. Yeah. Poor Michael. Let's have a moment of silence for his. Kid, you got a fucking snot hitting from your nose. Do I? That's longer than oh, any fucking hair in your face. It's all on national TV, too. <laughs> this is live, for Christ's sake, CJ. Live from New York. It's <laughs> Flimmy. Live from LA. Thanks for just blowing my cover. Oh, jeez. Oh, You're geez. on video, dude. No, no it's not gone. Pal no, pal yeah, palpable deniability. Palpable, palpable, palpable. <laughs> Fuck you, your palpable. <laughs> Come across his desk and shove my palpable up your palpable. Oh, you and what fucking army? <laughs> How dare you? This is live, kid. I'll sue you for your freaking fruit trees and your peach trees that you pruned fruit today. Fruit trees and peach trees. The only thing you owned, the only thing you owned, I'll sue you it's for fruit. it. Fruit. You've lost my train of thought again. Michael uh, Orr from the blind side, cut, released. What? Oh, Michael Orr. The Michael Orr he from the blind. Released yeah. from the, the Tennessee Titans. Oh. Speaking of released, Mike Shanahan or Carl Shanahan, yeah. the offensive coordinator for the Browns, had a 32-point PowerPoint presentation to get released from his contract from the Cleveland Browns. What a fucking mess the Cleveland Browns are. And they get in trouble because the general manager was sending texts to the head coach during games about who should be playing. I feel bad wow. for Johnny. I feel bad for Johnny. To get back to Johnny Menzel. Here we go. Johnny. I'd be in rehab too. Good for him though. Yeah. You know what I mean? If he's having problems with it, yeah. the fuck? I still think the motherfucker is too talented not to have his day. He's too good. Yeah, he's good. He's real good. He's real talented. He needs to mature a little bit. He's yeah. like a fine wine. Dude. And he got, <laughs> and he got drafted by the most, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Discombobulated franchise in the history of sports. Yeah. The Cleveland Browns, the, the yeah. redo Cleveland Browns, they're a fucking mess. Yeah. Well, look at the city. You know, Cindy's been having issues for years now, ever since the great debacle of 1984, and um, just turned the whole turned to shit. I don't know. I've never been there, nor do I want to. <laughs> Speaking of debacle, Jerry Rice. What a fucking piece of shit Jerry Rice is. Not to mention the fact that he was in a bad Super Bowl commercial, which we'll talk about Super Bowl commercials in a minute. Hold on. You might smell him salt. All right. All right. Good color. Good color. What Jerry Rice do to piss you off? Called out the Patriots for being cheaters. This is being asterisk. Yeah. Even though the information's not in, and a day, two days before that, he's saying how we use stick them 
even though Stickham was illegal in the NFL, but yeah. he said he used it, and then he came out with a defense. Oh, everybody was doing it. Yeah. Everybody was doing it. You fucking shut up, Jerry yeah. Rice. Yeah. Seriously, you know what I mean? All these yeah. guys that come out and start throwing stones, you know, is a lesson. I believe it's biblical. He who lives in glass houses should not throw stones. I don't think it's <laughs> biblical, but it's still fucking apropos. Yeah. Oh. Like, shut up, dude. You fucking bent rules as well. Or yeah. Don Shula. Don Shula. Be like, oh, Patriots, Patriots. Don Shula signed a contract with the Dolphins while he was still the head coach of the Colts. Imagine that happened now. Yeah. They'd be like, oh, let's take draft picks one through eight away from these guys. Even those yeah. seven rounds, you know? Everybody's yeah. fucked up. Yeah. Just freaking mind your own P's yeah, and Q's. Yeah, they're just talking heads, you know? Yeah. That's all there are, talking heads. All these guys. You know. Don't buy into it, people. Yeah, well, we're talking you about know. Charles Haley. Dude walking around jerking off in the fucking locker room. Oh, and he's and calling you, out. Yeah, them. and you're calling them out for being amoral. Thank God they won that Super Bowl, yep. CJ. Shut up a lot of people. Exactly. And the way that they Stop did, too. fucking class act, kid. You know, everybody was just class like, oh, act. the Eagles are going to win it. The guy made that great catch at the end zone there. The Eagles? Yeah, or the Seahawks. Yeah, yeah. same Fuck. fucking thing. Fucking both birds. shitty birds. Both shit birds. Yeah, yeah. Shit birds and freaking. They don't provide good meat. <laughs> you know? That's right. You don't need a Seahawk chicken wing. You don't need an Eagle chicken wing. Kid, I'm going to Portland. Proud to be an American yeah, where my rare. chicken wings taste like goodness. Uh. I'm going to Portland. Evidently, I didn't realize this until the other day. Yeah, Portland's like big Seahawk. Fuck, I guess. Let's just stick yeah. all those fucking people up and just fucking. Yeah, but they hate each other. They're soccer clubs. Portland FC. <laughs> <Seattle. laughs> yeah. You know, you know. You know, you know they bitch about the rain too. I don't, I probably talked about this last week, but or two weeks ago. But you know that Boston rains twice as much as Seattle. Did I talk about that before? No. Well, I'm talking about it now. No, did not know that. It was, yeah, it was a tale of the tape really? of, of Seattle and Boston and rainfall per yeah. year. Yeah. Boston, New England was twice as much as Seattle, but Seattle's always like, oh, we're so depressed know, because it rains so much up here. Yeah. Nobody cares about us. We live in a beautiful area. We got a stupid freaking space needle that's a whole yeah. freaking uh, everything for us. You know. God, you ever reinvented America? <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Talk so, about the commercials, Dave. Talk about Sons of Liberty. <laughs> I will Sons talk about the commercials. Liberty. Talk about that one commercial. That, talk about that one commercial that everybody in hell got depressed about, about that kid who freaking was like, I'll never go to high school. I'll never go to college. I'll never get married because yeah. I died because the TV fell on me. Nationwide yeah. is on your side. Yeah. Chicken, What's up with that? Chicken power me tiny so Oh, my God. Did that guy just go away? Oh, who, Peyton Manning? Oh, and uh, all his fans and friends. And I know. We're close, though. I know. We're close. <laughs> we're close. But he's going to be one of those. You know, come back I, as a commentator I'm, or something. Yeah, I know it. You're never going to get rid of that fool. Yeah. He's going to be an owner. He's yeah. going to be a, a, a John Elway type. He's going to yeah. be up on the press box, and his fucking forehead's going to turn into a 12 yeah. head. <laughs> he's going to come down and be like, well, <laughs> you know, we've won a championship of all. But you know what? Five years now, I'll be bitching because there'll be some other freaking Willie Beeman type guy shitting on the ball every yep. freaking play. Yep. Russell Wilson type. At least Peyton Manning doesn't say, yeah, I want to thank Jesus because Jesus is washing over the yep. Seattle Seahawks or the Denver Broncos. Yep. I hate that. That's why, you know, Brady Brady would be like, hey, I've been blessed. Fine. You can say blessed, you know, be ambiguous about it. Yep. But to come out and say that Jesus is pulling for your team, it's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, well, Jesus showed you. Jesus showed you. You fucking if you force a slant into somebody who knows it's coming, uh -huh. ain't nothing JC gonna do about it. He's gonna be like, "That's a stupid Jesus play call." Jesus Christ, superstar. Jesus Christ, he's on my side. <laughs> Earl Thomas, Earl Thomas, rocking his left eye Lopez, fucking oh, one, the one tape, fucking on your eye. Look yeah. at me. Yeah. Look at me, everybody. Look at me. Tom Brady yep. is just. He's epitome of class act. I feel bad for anybody who pulls for a quarterback who's not named Tom Brady. Yeah. Is that a little much? It is a little <laughs> much, but we can do it. And you know what? He's going to fucking be there next year, too. They're going to be there next year. They're just as good as anybody. That's the thing. I was, yeah. you know, we were working out with the team this, this week. 
right after the Super Bowl, I'm like, you guys can say, oh, we're a pass rusher away. We're a receiver away. Fuck all that. <laughs> the team's a far away. The Patriots, too, and they've been, they fucked up their first round draft pick this year. Yeah, Steelers, uh, they retired some, uh, some, some legends. What do you mean? Well, Dick LeBeau left. Yeah. Yeah. But he went to Tennessee. You see that? Wow. Supposedly some kind of ex mass exodus. A bunch of players going to go follow Dick LeBeau at Tennessee. Something's a foul yeah. in Pittsburgh. I know. Well, Mike Tomlin's a fucking tool anyway. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. He's got a free pass. That whole him standing on the field last year. Yeah, where he tripped the dude. Dude, he did that on purpose. Yeah. That's freaking terrible. That's yeah. way worse to me than maybe like... Spygate. Qua- yeah, it's, Dude was on the field. He yeah. knew he was on the fucking field. Yeah. He's got probably twenty get back coaches. Oh yeah. You know, you yeah. know, you know, know, you're one yourself. Yeah, there's coaches that just don't give a shit. They go on the field and No, you know. but but yeah, but but he knew where he was, is what I'm saying. He's yeah. watching the he fucking awful. Should have been suspended for that. He said he got some kind of fine. Yeah. Oh. Your own what was your favorite commercial, buddy? Paul you taste so good. Do you have good? any favorite commercials? None of them. None of them. I don't, I don't remember even... any of them. Yeah, I know. I was, I was 18 beers. And I, was... I slept through the first quarter because it was just such a yawn, dude. I was like, come on, someone do something. And then the Patriots scored and they started picking up on the action. Did you really? Yeah. You I didn't really sleep, but I was just in a comatose. No, oh, I couldn't do that. Of course, I played no. golf in the morning, so I got a little sun on me. <laughs> You've been yeah. sun on poor. Yeah, we barbecued some sausages, some chicken. Did you yeah. stay up and watch the blacklist after? No. What the fuck is that? It's amazing. You have that. They have the whole post game show on NBC for like five minutes. Like, oh, we're gonna show the blacklist. Yeah. Who the fuck is watching the? Whoa. Oh. It's all right. It's, it's all right. It's right in. Who's watching the blacklist after the Super Bowl? I'm sure a lot of people were. I'm sure a lot of people <laughs> were. Unfortunately, James Spader just makes me feel old. Yeah. I remember James Spader, you know, smoking cigarettes and pretty in pink. Now he looks yeah. like he's freaking 65. How about less than zero? Old. You seen that? I have seen less than zero with yeah. Robert, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Yeah. And James Spader. And James And Spader. then who was the other Brat Pack kid? He was in all those movies. Andrew too. McCarthy? Yeah. He was the friend trying to get him to straighten up. I know. I wish you were that friend to me, CJ. <laughs> trying to get me to straighten up. Out I'm of more like James lights. Spader's character to you. Yeah. Drive, you have the same car. What is that little fucking car you have in your... The Carmen Gia. Yeah. Same yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Watch out. Uh, you can, yeah. You're that guy making that run down to Palm Springs. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Palm Springs. Evidently, ooch, ach, ooch, ach, ooch, ach, ooch, I've been living ach. out here for almost ten years now, and evidently, that anybody who lives in Palm Springs is gay. Yeah, it's a big gay community. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and uh, Gunner were down there painting some houses. We saw flyers for the white party. Actually, we talked about this a few episodes ago. Did we? Yeah. The uh, white party. We're, ooch, talk- ooch, we're, we're ooch, talking ooch, about ooch, gays. Ooch, 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 ooch. Oh, the gays. Do, do, oh, the Bruce do, Jennings do, of the world. Do, 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 do. Speaking of gays, is a qu- ach, ooch, ach. Sorry, I'm giving you background music. Thank you. Quarterback. Ooch, ach. Quarterback survey. This is the way the game is going. Mm-hmm. They're doing surveys of quarterbacks, and there's only one number that really popped out. It said 40% of QBs from 2010 on, I don't know exactly what that means, come from upper middle class homes. In the 60s and 70s and 80s, 0% of the quarterbacks came from upper middle, middle class homes. So what does that mean? Putting two and two together. Rich kids are becoming quarterbacks, and rich kids have good gene pool, uh, usually. Not all the time. But they have the money for the training to become great quarterbacks. Whereas your city kids are, are no longer involved. The athletes are doing other things. It's the rich kids. Yeah. A starting to play. It's like hockey. Rich kid. Hockey's all about rich kids. Yeah. Well off kids. Yeah. Because it's not a ghetto game. Yeah. NBA will never be that way. Because the NBA, all you need is a ball and a hoop. And there's hoops everywhere. Yeah. But you need that specific training. Malcolm Gladwell is in yeah, somewhere. Mm-hmm. Like Malcolm Gladwell rubs me raw too. But, you know, the, the, the intelligentsia, the faux football intelligentsia that was so 
at him and be like, oh, the, the, the Seahawks were correct mathematically by throwing the ball on that particular <laughs> down. You people do not understand. Yeah. 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 Please. Just let Russell Wilson get on the edge. Mm-hmm. The, 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 what did Vince Wilford call him? He's like, Barry Sanders is a quarterback. Dude's tough to fucking tackle. You saw what happened in that one zone read at the end of the half where – where uh, Collins, who's a phenomenal athlete, maybe the best athlete on the on the Patriots defense, was just like broke his ankles, and Russell Wilson went for like thirty five yards untouched. Are you yawning or are you about sneeze. to sneeze again? Yeah. Well, can you hold on four minutes? This- uh. <laughs> all right, you all right? Yeah, allergies, man. Yeah, what are you allergic to again? Fires. <laughs> I'm not allergic to anything that I know of. You're allergic to love, Dave. Uh, other than four shots of Jack Daniels. You're yeah. allergic to love. No, I'm not. I'm a lover, not a fighter. All right, speaking of lovers and fighters. <laughs> oh, boy. Are you done? No. Remember, cakes are done, people are finished. Know your grammar. <laughs> Is that real? Yes. Um, there you go, student. That okay. one's for you, buddy. <laughs> I'm go- God's for you, Stu. On Tuesday, when I go back to school, I'll say that. I don't even know that one. People are what? Say it People again. People are strange. No, right when that. you're a stranger. Wait, did you write that? Let me say that one more time. What? I don't know. Did you watch the halftime show? Uh, yes, I did. I thought Carrie, Carrie Petty. <laughs> what, is it Carrie Petty? Tom or? Petty's long lost daughter. Um, anyway, I thought Katy Perry did a good job. Kid, I thought that yeah. lion or tiger she came out in was Sharks. ridiculous. How about the left shark? That made a lot of uh, internet news. Why? Why? Because it was I missed out on so that. Poorly. But why the left shark? Is opposed uh, I don't know. Why? Is it off rhythm or something? I watched the whole thing and I didn't think it was that phenomenal of a bad job. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. I mean, yeah. the whole thing was hokey, but that's the whole yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, for fuck's sake, is this 1999? They have Lenny Kravitz and Missy Elliott out there? So I feel like I never yeah, get Lenny older. Lenny Kravitz is out there for 10 seconds. Yeah. And well, then Missy, Missy Elliott. Elliott had two or three medleys or whatever. But uh, yeah, why Lenny Kravitz? Well, why did, you know, exactly, is this 1999? What has he done that he deserves to be on that's the That's what I mean. Uh, I feel like I never get older. It always feels like, oh, yeah, yeah that shit was cool back when I was back in my day. Yeah. But he had one hit, and he had a couple cover tunes. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I know. It's like, what's his deal? <laughs> I don't know. Evidently, he's a 50-year-old hot guy. Yeah. And then Missy, Missy Elliott. Elliott. Well, that was cool, though. Really? Yeah. Missy Elliott? There's no other, you know, know. relevant people out there I that know. they could get. Well, they spend so much money on Katy Perry. They're like, all right, how much can we get Lenny Kravitz for? He'll do it for two grand. Right. It's like fantasy football. You put all your money into like Kevin Durant, and then you're just going to start taking. What do you charge? You know, Tim Hardaway Jr. or something. You're like, oh, yeah, get under the uh, cap. They were cheap. They were cheap. No, I'll tell you what's not cheap Patriots freaking Super Bowl championship. Thank God. Thank God. I thought Did I would get a, a uh, theme song. I thought I would get a, a little bit Patriots, more. Do they have like a song that you sing? No, it's not the way they, they do things. No. They had a song in the first Super Bowl. You don't want to like pound a beer to the Patriots, you know? No, I do. Go Pats. I've go done Pats, that. Go Pats, go Pats. I've done that several fucking go Pats, times. Go Pats. Go Pats. Go Pats. Go Pats. It's not over. It's not the end of the era. I think they're going to be back there next year. I really yeah. do. But so much needs to go right. They were healthy at the end of the season. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Honest Cincinnati kid. That's what, you know, and as much as I love the shit on Belichick, and I still kind of do, because if Seattle scores, they be like, why didn't you take a freaking timeout? Which, eh, you know. Yeah. Got to give the guy respect. Yeah, no. Got to give the guy respect. But when you have the greatest quarterback of all time, things come a little bit easier. Yeah. Props to Matt Patricia, Rensselaer Polytech, Theta Kai, uh, fraternity my brother. I felt the thigh. Yeah, my brother and, and Tapa Matt Patricia. Kega? Is that Tapa Mega Kega? They pledged together th- a Theta Chi at RPI. Okay. Theta Chi at RPI. What's that? Uh, Rhode brother, Island? No, Rensselaer Polytechnical Institute. So they went. My brother went to college there. Yeah? Yeah, good friends of Matt Patricia. He's, oh. at, he's at my brother's wedding. That's interesting. You know who that guy is, right? Uh-uh. The guy, the defensive coordinator for the Patriots? Oh, yeah. The guy with the big back band. He was in I Felt a Thigh? And he'll never, uh, he'll never be a head coach because he looks like a vagrant, <laughs> like myself. I'm fighting to be a head coach at Walnut High School. Hopefully, nobody from Walnut High School is ever freaking listening to this. Yeah, I'm sure it. they would. 
No, I'm just going to deny it. Like, I'm on the fucking clown yeah. face. Patriot fan. Oh, that's yeah, it. That's it. Later, 15 dude. seconds. All right, CJ. I go gives, back to sneezing. Go back to sneezing. We're going to go. Indigestion. We're going to go meet your, uh, your friends. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That's yeah. it. Follow us on Twitter. We'll be back next Later. week. Later. I won't be. Bye. Good. Good.